All right, time for a Evelyn game. It's been a while since the last one, so uh, back at it again. Oh, as always, my favorite champion, you know. Uh, in this game here, I'll be facing a, a Zack, which should be very good matchup for me, really, because neither of us really have the intention of invading the other person. And uh, that is very beneficial because I can just farm and I can get my levels, which is exactly what I want. I mean, it's also exactly what Zack wants, but yeah, not that big of a problem. Uh, the elo of this game is like low plat MMR, so thereabouts, so you are aware. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how to play some Evelyn. I'll talk you through how to do everything, so everything will be clear to you. Now, in this situation, I'll be starting topside here for sure, because I have no desire of playing towards Asylum uh, lane. I mean, obviously, I have the Garen, but it's Asylum, right? There's nothing going to go on there. It's kind of whatever. In a situation like this, it's better to just simply go for bot lane, because, uh, like... They might get ganked a lot, which is very likely to happen with uh, Caitlyn and Karma. And this also sets me up for better opportunities for like a mid lane gank from a better angle, because on the other side of the map, the mid lane gank would be a lot more tough to pull off. So clearing down and then looping around from potentially back here is going to be better for mid lane as well, uh, gank wise. So yeah, starting top is definitely the way to go on this one. Just base it on like good ganks you're going to be able to get done. That's really all it has to be. Okay, two points Q for better clear speed. If you're really scared of getting invaded, you can definitely take an extra point in your W, but generally speaking, two points Q is just the way to go because the clear speed is better. Drag the camp a bit here. I will be doing my Gromp first here, so I have the better reset on my camp sequence. Botlin has them under turret. Mid lane is looking very gankable at the moment. Zack did go for a very early bot gank with only three camps cleared. Quite spicy, actually. Mid lane died. Okay. Botlin also died. That is a good start. Finally faced. I could see the Zack actually mess me up. I'm going to set it in the bush here. I am quite low, yes. I should probably pop my potion just to be safe here. In case Zack does try something. Smite that. Alright, so both my mid and my bot lane just died. That kind of sucks. Zack definitely needs to reset here. This wave is going to shove up. So I'm assuming I could just walk in it now. If I just walk now before they have a chance to ward, this should be good. I'm going to wait for my karma here. Thank you. Good. Nice. It was just a matter of patience there for the Karma uh, to show up. And uh, yeah, I did not like the fact she used that form of her ult instead of just using the snare. But eh, it worked. So I guess Vayne not having any escape mechanism there is fine. I am a little bit in trouble here, potentially. The ward here is good. But I probably should have actually just reset instead of doing Scuttle if the Zack actually contests my... Um, if he actually contests this camp, which if he doesn't, then it's fine. But I don't break yeah. heart. something to think about because this camp is worth way more than this Scuttle crap would be. And if there is a chance that the enemy jungler steals that from you, it would not be worth taking this. It would actually be better just to reset to catch the respawns. Now, this camp is not the biggest issue, but this camp can definitely be a bigger issue for me to get right now. Because that is a higher likelihood of a camp that Zack steals. Zack went top lane. I seem to be fine. I cannot gank that. Like, he is in such a position that there's nothing I can do for him. Unless he runs into me, basically, which there is a Zoe here. I don't know if I can help this, but I'll at least try a little bit here. Doesn't look like Lissandra is showing up either, so I think he's just dead now. Yep. All right, fair enough. That's all good. I mean, my team is not having a great time at the moment, but that's, on the other hand, also fine. I just have to make sure that I keep my jungle clear consistent right now on my uh, on my champion, because Evelyn does skill very well, or has the potential to skill very well, obviously. And her ult's like the thing, or the, not her ult, sorry, her passive is the thing that helps you the most, essentially. So that is what we're going to 
play for here. Their bolt lane is getting or is shoving in my bolt lane. So a bolt lane opportunity might be good here for a gank, but we are finishing our camps first. So he is rotating in an awkward way, actually. Okay, no, she just warded here, I think. It looks like she just warded there. Guess I can check with the sweeping trinket, we'll see. It should be free for me. There's a control right here, but that's not gonna matter. Okay, it might matter now. Just put the charm on Vayne. Good. It can go through there. I just need to make sure it's within range and then start charming at the right time. I'm gonna try to help him push this out fast enough, but there is definitely a risk here. I need them to really walk away here because if they recall like they were gonna recall they die instantly which would just be a problem okay well i guess it defended them i'm gonna lose scuttle here but that's okay this is good though that's definitely giving my bolt lane enough power for that to be fine i think i can get sorks on this recall so i'll take that because my 6 is going to kick in soon, which is going to give me the passive for the invisibility. So my gank pressure should be able to go up, which means champion damage in the form of flat magic penetration should be valuable. I should have switched my trinket for a warding trinket, though, because I don't need the sweeping trinket after 6. So that is a bit of an error there. Uh, but I need to get level 6 before I go for the top lane gank. So he just needs to be patient for like a second there. Okay. I can go top here, that's fine. Let's play hard. You went a little early there, mate. That's gonna cost you your life, yep. Oh my god, you are not serious. I'm not gonna be able to kill Sion here. <laughs> my Garen just hard troll himself. All he had to do was just wait for me to get within range. Then anything would be fine, because I can just full charm the Sion. But if he doesn't wait, then yeah, I don't know. He doesn't have the mana to ult out though, and he just suicided, I think. So that's uh, this should be quite good. Need to stay ahead of him. Okay, I just want to make sure he's low enough in that situation. I know my my mark is on him there a lot earlier, but I can easily get another Q rotation just because he doesn't have the mana for ult. And he doesn't have flesh, so there is no risk of me ever not getting it there. He's here, that's Zoe. I'm gonna stand all the way here then, just to be safe. Okay, she shows mid. It's okay, ult's on cooldown now, got the kill on top lane. Uh, just one kill is good enough for me on top lane, honestly, because I do have Relentless stack from that, so that's quite nice. But apart from that, I don't want to push it too hard there, because it's still quite a waste of time. This is not ideal. He could have taken my bot side. He took the rift. Terror. Wait. I think I'm blind. I could have... I, I thought I saw Zack a bot lane. I don't know what happened. I think I just completely misjudged where his position was. Must have missed seeing something. Because that Herald is definitely not good to give. Absolutely not. Um, I, I really thought he was bot lane there. So I missed something there on the mini on the minimap earlier or something. I don't know what happened. I mean, it's fine, like, okay, but, uh, yeah, I just missed something. That's okay. I, I will just get the dragon here. And pull it out slightly while I put my charm on it for a bit more damage. Should be able to get the dragon here, no problem, to trade for the Rift Herald at least. But I, I thought he was bot lane. It is what it is. I made a mistake. Gives him a Rift Herald. Gives him a very good Rift Herald at that. Yeah. Overall, for me, it's fine, because I'm, like, in a very good state regardless. I'm not too worried about it. My ult's in 10 seconds. I could just clear, like, this camp here and maybe go bolt. I do have a suspicion here that something's going to go on on bot lane. We have Lissandra ultimate 43. Zack is indeed bot lane. I think my bot lane's resetting here, so there's no reason for me to stick around. I could just reset now, walk out of base, do my topside camps, and then mid lane should have ult, so I can gank that. Kind of what I'm looking at right now. Buy these two items and then switch to this because I don't need the other trinket. Do 
I might actually have to go mid sooner than Melisandre just died. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he cannot ping me for that. You literally took the bad trade. That is not my fault. That is wild. Yeah. Good luck, Lissandra. I don't care. Defending mid here doesn't do anything for me because I would just insta die anyway, so this is completely pointless. Like, it's actually straight up pointless. I can kill Zoe because she's probably going to disrespectfully recall in a bad spot, which is what I would imagine, unless she doesn't and actually resets. Wow, she resets under her turret. I respect it, Knight. Very much respect it. Very good positioning, very good choice. I am going to have to run top lane here. I don't know if I can save him from this situation, but I can try. Why, why, why are you running? Like, <laughs> dude, what is that? Why are you running away from me? I don't understand. He could just walk like this. It would be the same outcome. This is wild. I don't know, man. <laughs> Alright, well. It is what it is. My laners can flame me all they like. I don't really care. I'm gonna go mid lane after this. Because Lissandra has ult, so it should be an extremely free kill. I just need to wait for my passive, not to walk over any wards. Wait for my full charm. Perfect. Nice. Good stuff. That's all I needed. I, every time Lissandra ults up, that's gonna happen. I am gonna walk towards bot because the turret just disappeared. I'm gonna be here behind. Then should be a free double kill for me because Leona can never escape. She doesn't have mana. Thank you, Karma. I appreciate that. I was ready to ult it if she did not stop using her abilities. Uh, but yeah, she stopped using her abilities, so I don't have to ult. I don't want to like not get the kill, if that makes sense. I'd rather not ult if I don't have to because she was already a guaranteed kill. But on the other hand, I also don't want to give my Karma the kill when I can get the kill and it's more valuable on me, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've done a tremendous amount for my bot lane. My top lane is completely inting, but as well as my mid lane, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not a problem. I won one of the lanes, which I'm already very happy about. That's all I really need. And it's a bot lane especially as well, so it's two people. Which is extremely good for me, obviously. Gotta be calm about it. Nothing to stress about. We have our entire jungle clear gonna respawn right now, so we're just gonna take everything real quick. Make sure I keep my experience going here. I can technically reset, but there is nothing to play for on the map until like a minute's time for the objectives. So at this moment in time, I have some, like I've basically a minute, just clear everything I can, and then just look for like an objective, right? Like a dragon probably, because I care more about that second dragon than I care about the second Rift Herald. Uh, so I probably am just going to play for the dragon. And this way I can come out of base with the strongest amount of items possible to play for that dragon. But that's what I'm going to do within these 50 seconds. Whatever my team does doesn't matter. I just want to make sure I get this done. Plus this should give me my jungle smite upgrade. Hopefully if I get a sweet in time. Otherwise maybe one extra camp. But that, that's okay. 30 seconds for dragon which should allow me to just do this camp. And then play for the dragon. Unless my team just hard dies, which we might lose dragon for regardless. Which seems to be the case. Uh, but that doesn't affect my overall choices, really. There you go. I got my smite upgrade. I got as much gold as possible here. Which does not actually allow me to buy what I want unless I wait for it. That kind of sucks. I need to. I need to wait for this. So I hope they don't rush Dragon, because not bu building it on this back is a bad choice, s simply put. Like, I have nine charges on it, I have to get it here. I'm just short on gold, so yeah, that turret helps a little bit. Let's go Dragon. I'm just going to instantly start Dragon, because heck went top lane. If he does Rift Herald, I don't care, because I need the Dragon. I want the Dragon more than I want the Rift Herald. I might actually go for bot lane first with this guy if he shows right now. Yeah, okay, Vayne's dead. I'm gonna go for it then. That's fine. I'll take the uh, Magi stacks. Walk ahead. There's no reason to flash for that, but okay. Nice. That's above 10 stacks. That's really good. And we could just get the dragon now.
Thank you for pulling it out slightly. Oh, okay. Build there, that's good. Make sure to sidestep that one because the positioning on her thing was going to be super obvious. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, damn it, I got CC'd by Leona, I believe. Uh, okay, I misplayed. I think the overall trade's super good and I'll take it. Uh, I don't think it's good actually because I gave a lot of shutdown gold to Sion. Uh, it's better than Zoe, I suppose. But yeah, I misplayed played there i should have played slower i should have actually uh because i played it initially played it well uh one shot to zach but i should have not instantly re-engaged i should have just played very calm and waited for my garen for backup here and let lissandra do like some ranged poke in that situation uh, so that that would have been much better i made a mistake by going in too quickly um so that was not good Should have waited for like my passive to be back up and just a lot calmer a lot more of a pick type of playstyle in that situation would have been better so yeah mistakes made but it's okay all right good hopefully no help me you there there is a that's a joke right support are you serious he just let me hit he just let her hit the bubble for free that, okay fine whatever he was very very poorly standing in front of me there all right whatever it's okay clear this clear my bolt side here and then i could just do a rift herald unless he just rushes it down right now but i don't think that's gonna be the case luckily it didn't cost me my life there but i could have cost me my life by the carmen just blocking Okay, fine. Clean this up and I'll do Rift Herald first. My team can push all they like. I'm fairly useless in this push regardless. Okay, time to Herald before despawn so I can use this to push later on. Twelve out of twenty-one at this point, KP is fine. I mean, my impact has already been really high, obviously, because I fed my bot lane. Like, I really gave my bot lane a lot, and they are just, like, doing really well now. And of the last fight as well, Lissandra got a lot of kills, which is good for her. Obviously, my Garen's still behind, but not as relevant, really. Okay, almost a double large roll. Blue should be here, yep. Any type of camp you can take from the enemy jungler takes priority over, like, doing your own camps. So I will do that right here. I'm also going to reset right now because I have no backup. I don't trust my Garen to do anything. He is just going to die, essentially. Uh, but my Lissandra and my bot lane are never in a position to do anything here. So there's no reason for me to like stick on the map. I have double arch on that back. But I should be taking my back in that instance. All right, before you continue with the rest of this video, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And if you are this far into the video, I can only assume that you enjoy my content. So yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated if you'd consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and enjoy the rest of this video. I like to watch. Aaron probably dies again, I would imagine, but it doesn't matter. Like he is zero and six. It it doesn't affect anything. Big kill on Zoe. Oh, actually got him. Walk up here. Next, gonna hold the wall, most likely. Why would you ever flash for that? Literally pointless, but okay. <laughs> sure, I suppose. I already had the angle on the Zack. Zack was always dead there, and wasting your flash doesn't necessarily make any sense, but hey. Definitely time to Baron. Would be nice if the Garen could come tank this, because I'd not prefer tanking this, if I'm being honest, but... Uh, I can't do anything either, because it's not like they're going to be the one tanking this. I don't want to get Baron aggro, because I'm losing 50% of my damage, and that's a lot of damage to miss, so that that's the thing that sucks here. Realistically, in a situation like that, it is better for Karma to actually tank the Baron, 
because karma is doing literally zero damage to baron so not doing it that way is actually bad i may have trolled myself here pretty badly rocket belt to dodge time that correctly nope still dead okay mm, my bad i walked up too far i was talking about something else didn't use my brain is what it is still above 10 stacks do have a death cap now so it's okay as long as you don't drop below 10 stacks because the 10 percent movement speed boost is actually the thing that matters the most obviously the ap is very nice but the 10 percent movement speed gives a help a, a tremendous amount of help with positioning so you should be able to catch more people a lot easier uh, which is the best part about magis really uh, so yeah i should not have an issue with that uh, next item i'm just gonna buy banshees to prevent that type of things from happening we still have a rift out the place i mean i've done enough my team is gonna win now anyway giving them a lead unless they start hinting i suppose as well but even then it's not really an issue honestly i'll show you why because you can just at this point in the game it's really easy to fix something like that Builds up soon. Gonna have to consider 35 seconds on this, which is not the best. I mean, if they don't back, then it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not gonna be able to defend this turret, but we have both side lines pushing, so that's fine with me. Just need to wait for an opening at this stage. That's the opening I was looking for. Walk into me, please. Thank. Are you? All right, I had to ult there, dude. She actually reacted really quickly there. I have to respect her for that. Uh, but this is really bad for the enemy team. I'm not gonna be able to defend this here, which is completely fine. But I'm also like putting the herald down because I was gonna, gonna, gonna time out anyway, and my Garen has just pressure on top, so the enemy team is on a timer there, and I'm just literally waiting for anybody to walk out of position. That's all it is. I just wait there for the Zoe to split off or the Leona or the Zack. It doesn't really matter who it is. I will kill them anyway. That's all I have to wait for. I obviously don't want to engage in 3v1 because I get CC locked and I would just be bad. Um, so that would not be good, but yeah. That's really all you have to do. Be patient with it. I'm assuming Vayne's going to continue the type of playstyle of pushing into the side lane like this. I realistically should be able to get the kill on her. There it goes, perfect. Allow her to walk into you by getting behind, getting in a good angle. That's it's unexpected, so they uh, walk into you. Walk up here. We're gonna come in from behind again, if possible. I'm gonna go for the Zack here. Okay, I'm gonna be dead. Woo! I'm not dying to Zoe. We're good. I'm gonna have to get my passive here. I can heal up. problem yeah Lissandra yes Lissandra you played that so well Lissandra oh god I don't again don't really care too much I mean my Lissandra just went in for no reason but I don't really help her in that situation either because I just could not get in proper range Aaron still got something on bot lane though going for the pure pushing playstyle all this Lissandra knows is how to do is flame me for something I can't have an effect about <laughs> which is interesting i'm getting close to a banshee so it would be really nice to have against that team because it's actually just gonna save my life completely 26 yeah i don't know if i can get it within a reasonable time frame here obviously next dragon is like a big thing to look for right now Team's kind of dead i just really want to get my banshees i can get raptors into scuttle here i think and get it Thank you, Caitlyn. That's still not enough gold. Are you serious? Okay, I thought actually that would be enough. It's better in the dark. Things aren't going to do it. Not going to be able to do anything there. Really, for some reason, thought that was enough for my banshees, but it wasn't. 
I'm gonna have to do another camp here. Probably just two. Get my entire bot site right now. Caitlyn's backing anyway. Nothing to gun that's gonna go on necessarily here. Banshee's just gonna be very, very large here. Smite that because I have an extra charge. And I'll go buy my Banshees. I might as well buy one control ward potentially for like a Baron attempt or a Dragon attempt. At this current gold state, that's fine. The only thing I would use it for though, for like a placement on Baron or something, which is probably just what I'm gonna do right away. My team is getting uh, engaged going, so I should just move. Placing the ward now would be a mistake. Need to wait for a good or try to get a oh you're so fast please please calm down this is fine it's death one playing very slowly just waiting for their mistakes there we go Let's just get baron i realistically don't think ending the game is possible uh, okay, I'm again, I guess we're not doing Baron, because I can't solo the Baron, so I don't have a choice. Is ending the game possible here? I think their death timers are too low, simply put. We don't have to wave in the correct state for it to be fine here. We just don't. So I don't think it's possible for us to actually end this game. Which means we should have done Baron. Especially if Garen dies like that. Yeah. Yeah, look at their death timers. It's just not something that would have been realistic. Because one getting we can get one third here. Yeah, this is fine. That's nothing I can do. My team just trolled. It is what it is. Baron is simply better. I rocket belted. No, you have okay, my ult's not up yet. The, the fact that my ult's like a second there. No, yeah, that's I did have ult for two seconds. It w this was a really bad call, but I could never persuade my team in that situation not to do what they just did. Because the Garen would never come the Baron. They were not walking the Baron. They were spam pinging this, which was a really bad call because we can never get it in time due to the low death timers and no correct wave angle. So they just get Baron now, which is actually a very big swing in gold for them. And this is going to benefit them quite a lot, which really sucks for me. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I suppose the thing I could have done was try to spam ping more, but realistically, that was never going to be a thing. And now they get Baron and Dragon. I guess the best sort uh, best outcome here was just never participate in this fight whatsoever, ever. And just let my team die completely, so I don't lose both objectives, which I guess would have been better. Yeah, that, that's... it's just out of my control. There's not much I can do to change the outcome there if my team decides to do what they did. I'm going to have to run to this fight as quickly as possible. They might be winning this. They lose this, but it doesn't matter how they lose this, because I can clean this up. Caitlyn, please. Stop pinging me, you rats. You are very annoying right now. Caitlyn, just recall, my boy. Lord, dude, the... F Kate, what are you doing, man? You are so troll. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm not gonna reset now either. Like actually insane. He just, she just gave him the inhi the inhibitor. Whatever. <laughs> it, it's fine, I guess. Sure. At least I didn't get the Drake Soul, which is nice. Not my fault. You guys are trolling. I mean, it's my fault that I died. That's definitely my fault. I should not have died mid lane here. I should have just let my team die because that was not good. That definitely put me in a much worse position for this. If I went top lane to kill Sion, which I could have done, uh, I would have just lost Dragon, which would not have been good. At this, uh, like after what happened, it was the, the job of Caitlyn to just instantly reset while I chased the other two kills out and then uh, kill Sion or prevent him from pushing. That's, that's all it was. She didn't do it, so... Here we are, but yeah. Not on me. Get the Void Staff, we got a potion, and we are looking very strong here. Now what I'm gonna do to prevent this from ever happening again, I'm just gonna kill Sion on the sideline. So we kill Sion first, and then we team fight, which should be extremely easy with my build setup currently. I'm just gonna be able to one-shot him. 
does not have the split push item, so that's good. He is going to walk up to the side lane here, I think. Okay, so he's just dead. Sure. Cylon actually went to rotate for his team. That is actually surprising. I'm not going to lie. And my team loses the team fight. Right then. Get out of range. I am surprised Cylon went for what he did. I'm genuinely surprised. I 100% thought he would go split push, but he didn't. It's better in the dark. I should be able to prevent this from doing anything necessarily. Cylon's dead. I need to make sure I keep walking away here so Cylon doesn't get to reach me and I just kill Zack afterwards. That should be a dead Zack. Hmm. A bit awkward this. Alright, he's dead. Fine, you win. I'll ult for you. God damn it. I misclicked my smite on the something there, I think. Hmm, yeah. Oh well. Alright, fine. Fair enough. This game is so much more difficult than it really should have been, but okay, you know, uh, what can I do? As you can see there, though, I do one-shot the Scion really hard. Don't have anything to back for here, so I'm not gonna back. I want to sell my boots for Lich Bane as, like, my last thing to do, basically, but... Don't be stupid, Caitlyn. Oh, my Lissandra is being stupid, I see. Ah, yes. I don't know, Vilch. Ah, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm not dead. Wow. Okay, that's good. It's one death. That's Zoe. That's good. Wait patiently. Okay. Well, at least Zoe's dead, so they don't get to do much. As long as I get my full charm off, there's just done for. Yep. Good flash. Why is nobody backing for the defend? Are you kidding me, Garen? You should have taken the reset, mate. Oh, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Ah, yes. One shot to Sion. Caitlyn backed, which is good. That's such a chase. Okay. Interesting. We can get it on the next back, which is going to be nice. We can get Baron here, which is going to be good. And then, uh, yeah, we should be able to just pull from there, hopefully. I don't know if we can do this on spawn, can we? I'm actually going to go do this here. No, you... Ah, oh, the Zonias, man. That sucks. That really sucks. That should be fine. Oh, that would have been such an insane engage if not for that Zonias. Use my passive here, just Baron. This is okay. Our inhibitor is back. That Zonias was so good. Damn. That's, that sucks for me. I mean, it is what it is, of course. Very nicely uh, done with the Zonias. But that would have been an instant game ender if I got that in the gauge co correctly. Right, got this. I'll take the reset as well. Definitely play for Drake here. I'm gonna be able to sell my boots now for a Lich Bane and I get another blue potion and that's me completely maxed out on my build with 1200 AP. Which is huge. I will one-shot literally anything. I'm I'm surprised this game went on this long, but on the other hand, I'm on the other hand, I'm kind of not surprised either. You know what I mean? Don't want to get spotted. I'm already spotted. That sucks. Every kill is just a lover of 
I feel like I'm never gonna be able to die here. Also, they committed a lot to chasing me there, which is good, and now I can flank them. It should be good for a fight situation. I don't know how my team actually ended up losing this, but. That doesn't change anything, she is dead. There is no way she can outrun me because of what I have. Make sure to hit the bush. This shouldn't kill me. She doesn't turn it. I should be able to end the game here now. Because I'm gonna have ult here as well, so he can't do anything. I just end here because I could just glitch and proc this down. Just one hit should be enough. There it is. Alright, good. That is it for Evelyn. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below, and I will see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 61.6k damage, which is by far the most here. I am extremely surprised that my uh, Kate and Karma ended up doing this little damage. Like, actually, because I fed them a lot in the early game, and they just completely threw their lead. Um, which does really suck for me, honestly, because, yeah, well, 24 damage, 24k damage on a Caitlyn at... 36 minutes in game is really not something that should be uh, should be happening. Uh, Garen and Lissandra did a respectable amount, I will say. But yeah, yeah. Objective damage at 62.5. Made sure to get all the dragons, especially. Did lose out on the first Rift Herald by just completely misjudging the Zac position somehow, some way. Don't know what happened there exactly, but yeah. Uh, so lost the Rift Herald there, but I got all the dragons. Uh, the dragon, so that's, yeah, Dragon Soul is fine, right? Healing done at 23.4. Obviously, Zach out heals me. That is very unsurprising. Damage taken at 39.8. Uh, we have self-mitigated damage at 28.7. Gold earned at 21k, which is by a large margin the most here. I had an absolute maxed out build for 1200 AP as well. So, yeah. For the runes, electrocute for 4200 damage. Sudden impact for 2300 damage. 2300 damage. Uh, eyeball collection for extra AP, Relentless for the movement speed, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm for just more stats as well. Uh, so we're gaining like a solid, I'd say 100 AP at least, here from the runes, which is really solid, really, really strong. Um, and that's how I got the 1200 AP basically, so yeah. But anyway, that is it for Evelyn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye!